Hello, this is Heather from Twist My Stitch. Thank you for joining me for this tutorial. Before we get started, if you have any video requests, send me an email to heather at twistmystitch.com. You can also find my social media links in the description below. Please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and click on that bell to get notified of future videos. Thank you for watching, and now go twist my stitch. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to work the Tunisian Crochet Honeycomb Stitch. This stitch is worked in a two row repeat. There is no multiple, so you can work any number of stitches across your chain uh, to make this desired pattern. So let's get started. For the purposes of this tutorial, I have worked a chain of 10. So our first stitch is going to be the Tunisian Crochet Simple Stitch. Then the next stitch will be the Tunisian Crochet Pearl Stitch. And you're just going to continue working the Simple Stitch and then the Pearl Stitch until you have one stitch remaining. The last stitch in your round is going to be worked through both of those loops of that last stitch. So we're going to work that purl stitch through both of those loops. Now we're going to work the uh, standard Tunisian crochet return pass, yarn over, chain one, yarn over, pull through two, Continue pulling through two until you have one loop remaining. So that's round one. Then um, row Two, you're going to work the purl stitch and then the simple stitch. So work that Tunisian crochet purl stitch, then the simple stitch. Purl, simple. Then you, in the last stitch, you're going to work that uh, Tunisian simple stitch through both loops of the last stitch there. And then work your return pass, chain one, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, all the way down. Continue working round one and two until your desired length. And once you get multiple rounds on your project, then you will begin to see that honeycomb pattern come through. And that's all there is to the Tunisian honeycomb stitch. <laughs> 